not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. Gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us in a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on Botched. Hi, everybody. Voren here, just updating you on what happened last episode. So the party defeated trolls in single combat. Team uh, in combat. Uh, after that, uh, we met a new friend who's very humble. Hi, Nolan. Uh, um, then, then we went to the bar, and uh, there was an orgy, and in the arms of an angel happened a lot, and we left it. Uh, and, and now we're fighting a gigantic earth seal. Welcome back to Botched. Uh, this is episode 22. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to start right where we left off last time as the party is in the giant coliseum with the crowd of onlookers above the arena kind of watching as the party is now facing the drongol. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. So roll initiative. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> four and got a four. He's Randall ready. got a five. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on a second. Six. Oh, Go for six. Oh. Show off. Ralph got a 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be rough. Gnomes have a racial enemy. Okay. Of boulders. <laughs> also boulders. And seals, yeah. First up is Roro, whose hands spin into axes, and then he just takes off into the fray. Not drills? <laughs> not this time. <laughs> it turned into axes. It's a miter saw. Wow. Yeah. He runs into the fray, and he attacks the seal Boulder? twice. <laughs> he hits twice. He's going to deal 21 damage. Jesus. So he runs over and he just whacks away and just puts a tiny hole in the side of the seal and he goes, (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) Has a gaffy stick. It's weird. I don't understand it. Strange. He killed my parents. Yep. (laughs) Kill all Uh, of them. Aunt, uncle, whatever. So then we have Ralph. Um, first, I'm going to sing a song about my compatriot Randall. Okay. To inspire him to be cool. Send the seal to the arms of the angels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say it. But... It was implied. Um, then I'm just going to start calling <laughs> what? the seal some names. Okay. <laughs> Vicious mockery. Hey! Seal tits! That's good. That one that works for me. Seal tits. Hey! Seal tits! It goes crazy. You stink! <laughs> you smell like fish. <laughs> Does it have to pass? Yeah, uh, uh, 14. Okay, it does not have a good wisdom. The wise so. seal. <laughs> it does not pass, so it is, it is affected by your vicious mockery. Let's see. Does it have to be somewhat intelligent for this to work? No. Speak your language? Nope. It just, it's <laughs> just unknown. I have no idea what he's saying, but I'm inferring the context. It's and then everyone angry. else laughs. <laughs> oh, that was a joke. Oh. He called me seal. I'm going to write about this in my live journal. Where's my blog? Uh, I'm going to imager to feel better. So, take a 1d4 physical damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll. Okay. It makes before the end of its turn, and then... Okay. Then Alright, so it has disadvantage. Lane. Okay. Alright. Stupid seal. <laughs> so then it is... Uh, Nolan. So Nolan is just... Uh, Let's out a nice roar of ha ha, Drongo! And then runs into the fray with his axes um, and attacks twice. And botches. Oh, come on, Nolan. Mm, this was your idea, bro. Nothing happens. <laughs> he just misses twice. He just flails wildly. He gets too excited. He just gets too excited. That's what happens. Nobody put money on him to die first? Nope. Uh, Nobody did. Ah, crap. Then it is Randall. Get wrecked. I'm charging. Okay. 
22. All right, so Rando, you hit. 17 damage. Ooh, 17. My two-headed flail. Nice. The double dick. Then it is Vorin. All right, uh, I will be casting Scorching Ray. Okay. So I need to make three attacks. Okay. I'll do uh, Meta Magic for each, or Wild Magic for each. Mm-hmm. Uh, no Wild Magic, and a 10. It's a whiff. Okay. Yeah. No Wild Magic, and a 21. Yep. And no Wild Magic, and a 16. Yep. Okay. So it takes... 15 damage. Okay. So you shoot off two of these little fire things, and it kind of <laughs> zings around. One of them misses, but two of them kind of hit it in the chest region. As, goes, as it's flailing around on the ball a little bit. Just keep it balanced, though. Still keep it balanced. Okay. It's, uh, it's then up, and it's going to... pick up its boulder, and kind of spin it around a little bit. And then toss it. Everyone has to do a deck save. If only I was inspired or something. Shit. All right. I will fail. Yep. Uh, 14. Okay. Eight. Okay, so you all fail. 14 is still a fail. Uh, Let me check it on the other three guys. Nope, they all fail too. Okay. So everyone's going to take... It's always a good sound. (laughs) Uh, 23 damage. <clears throat> and you're knocked prone. Morty. <clears throat> As the boulder just smashes into you and bounces off. So it causes a pretty nasty amount of damage. And the seal just seems pleased with itself as it slaps its massive fins together, causing like a small shock with... Yeah, yeah, like that, pretty much. Um, so then it's going to be Aloris' turn, who's going to get up. Did you give it disadvantage on that roll? <clears throat> it didn't roll to attack. Oh, it just, just does it, does and then it. you it. do a deck save. Got it. Um, so Aloris goes, but I'll still save the disadvantage for whenever it does attack. So Aloris gets up, and she's going to cast Cloud of Daggers. So she puts a cloud of daggers around this thing's head, and there's just like a bunch of little daggers just spinning around its head. Right. It deals 14 damage. And it's going to stay there while she holds it in place anyways. That's what I was going to cast next. <laughs> oh, nice. Double, double daggers. daggers. Double daggers. Double daggers and double dick flail. We got it all day. So Super Guard is... He gets back up. And he's going to attack. And hit and miss. So he's going to deal... 8 damage. Then we're back around to Ralph. Who's all around the... Uh... You're kind of all what's... in the vicinity except for Loris and Boren. You what, guys are what's off. really the vicinity... Like right next to the. So we're all right next to it. Yeah, except for Loris and yeah. Born. Alright. Well, then I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> I. <clears throat> hold on. Am I allowed to put a second cloud of daggers out? Yeah. yeah it's Can separate, I. Um, separate spell cast. Yeah. Instead of focusing it around its head, could I. Should I focus it around its. Crotch? Fins? Uh, his hands are crotch. It's soft underbelly. Yeah, his underbelly. Did you say soft? It's very soft. Mm-hmm. So squish. <laughs> you can target it wherever you want. Man, I want a thunder wave so bad. It's just, just gonna hit everybody. Got a good con save. Yeah. For half damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna cast cloud of daggers. Okay. So you just cast it. I don't even think you have to do anything, right? Nope, it's 4d4 slashing. Yep, you just have to concentrate to hold it in place, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and then there's, is there a spell attack modifier? No. No? No. Okay. It's just a con save, or... It just happens. Daggers. Yeah, it just happens. Just eight. Eight damage, all right. All right, so then we're going to have Nolan. Nolan gets up, he just shakes it off a bit, and he runs around the back of it. And he tries to jump up on its back and use its axes, and he's going to hit twice. And he's going to deal 21 damage as he screams a hearty, Ha ha! As he crushes into its uh, back. Then we're going to have Randall. Stab it in its soft, soft underbelly. Okay. No. Okay. (laughs) Fair. No. Vorn? Uh, Vorn will cast Scorching Ray again. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's a 19, no wild magic. Yeah. That's a miss and no wild magic. And that's a 19, no wild magic. All right, so two of them hit again. Consistent doing two hits with this. That's pretty good. Oh, well, thank God I took Elemental Adept Fire, because that's a two, four, six, eight damage. I rolled all ones, by the way. Nice. All ones. Four dice. All ones. Nice. No, that's good. Is that good? Eight damage. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. It's uh, uh, four uh, glass glasses wearing snake eyes. Man, it's good. So the um, nerd. <laughs> nerd snake. <laughs> the drongle is up, and the drongle is going to take a little bit of that dagger damage as it tries to get out of the way. That sounds like more than a bit. That's because there's two clouds of daggers hitting oh, it at once. So many daggers. And it takes nineteen damage. So it's going to hop out of well, hop sort of like flop a little bit out of the way of the cloud of daggers as it flops towards your party. Um, so since it's kind of almost going to be running over you guys, Randall, Ralph, or no, Ralph's not there in the fray. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just those two, Randall and the super guard. Do a dex check, Randall. Five. Yeah, super guard didn't pass either. So you get kind of crushed under the weight of this uh, thing. So you're gonna take... I get the killing blow, you say. <laughs> <laughs> you take... You are directly under the soft underbelly. You take 13 damage as you're in its movement path. Jesus. And it ta- uh, the super guard takes 11 damage as it's in its movement path. And you're kind of pinned at the moment. Trampled, if you will. <laughs> it's then going to uh, take a bite attack at Ralph. But no, it has no. disadvantage. Uh, Ralph, Ralph can't take a bite. Doesn't matter. I no, 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 a- no, no. <laughs> I thought it was only in the next round. No. What? Not to... The, it only gets disadvantage on the attack within the next round. Well, he already said that he would use it. I mean, I still attack. used it. I rolled a 15 okay. and a 16 flat. But that was like, wasn't that the or, original round, round? An hour two? It doesn't matter. It would have hit me no matter what. No matter what, it's going to hit. Okay. But no, no, I, I literally cannot take an attack. guess I Why? get some... Are you dead? You should have healed up. Everyone should be at full health for this fight. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, so... You, you can take it, but you can't take it. 23 damage. Really? Yeah. In the arms. <laughs> Are you dead? Oh, You're dead, angel, dead? Man. Dead, dead. I am negative 20. Wow. Wait, how, how many have... points do you have? When this 26. Hmm. And the, you, know, you missed the dex first. Yeah, I missed the dex. Um... Which took me down to three. Uh, okay. So Ralph dies. No, you're not dead. I thought you had to be your entire total negative. Yeah, so you'd have to be negative 26. 23, 26, right? So you still have... So, so you, you so have your death right. saves. Yeah, Dude, let's, let's bring that back. Yeah. So it bites into you and sort of does like a Shaking small like dachshund a with like a mole thing. Like, <laughs> it just tosses you to the side and you land in a bloody heap over crumpled in the corner. Just... <laughs> Yeah, All fucked up. Your not accordions enough to say. <laughs> the accordions got holes in it, making a light wheezing sound. Mm. Um, mm, so that's, that's rough, the Drongle's turn. It's a good character. So Aloris is up, and she goes, "Okay, screw this," and she casts Fireball. Um, <gasps> and it's a Water type Pokemon, so it's super uh, effective. No, that's the opposite. Up, uh, yeah, she. Yeah, no. Oh no, no, never mind. That's the okay. So it doesn't. But since it's Earth type, it's not. It's not Earth type. It's a water Earth hybrid. It's a seal. Electric? It's just living in a cave at the moment. Its blubber is flammable, you say. <gasps> Get it. So, on the defense, the drongle botched. Nice. So, I'm going to say it takes a little bit extra damage. Uh, Super crit fail save. 42, 46 damage. So she shoots a fireball into the... Now, normally this would probably hit you guys, but she pinpointed it right into its mouth. So it just kind of would bursts... That be- while it was biting, no, oh, it's like fighting Andros <laughs> in Star Fox. Sure, nice. you shoot the bomb into the mouth. Sure, and then you... so it b- blows up and nice. his mouth gets You're pretty nasty, nerds. messed up. So, um, um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so thanks, that's Alaris. a massive. You're the main character. <laughs> <laughs> You've got plot armor. Plot <laughs> armor. Um, she could die. Don't say that. 
And then next around we have. She's so useful. This podcast would it would end if she died. <laughs> we would die every episode. Super. And here's my character dead. Oh, rolls so. a strength check to get out from underneath of the monster and does. So kind of lifts out. the giant seal. Just, just kind of well, move. just moves the blubber enough that he yeah. gets. We are around. just friends. <laughs> Not like and then this. attacks. Hits twice. <laughs> Not today. I am tired. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do my hair. Deals twenty three damage. Nice. Jesus. God damn. Why are the NPCs so much better than us? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're all casters? I don't know. Shit, you're right. You're a fucking bard and a sorcerer? I don't know. Bard, sorcerer, and a eldritch knight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, I, you're all damage dealers. Uh, and not very good at it. Not good at it. We're all utility characters. <laughs> <laughs> Without the utility. <laughs> <laughs> Two melee specialists and a rain specialist. Our party's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, then it is Nolan. So Nolan's still on its back, just <laughs> cranging away at him. Show off. But like climbing up its back with the axes, but one misses. So he's just got one in there. So he's gonna. Oh, it's that dramatic moment where he's hanging on by one axe. Yeah. And he's got up there. Trying to get the mm-hmm. Second axe, but that'll be next round. Deals ten damage. So. That's, that's pretty good. Deal something. And then, um, Randall. Randall. I guess I have to do my main action as a strength my way out. Yep. Ten? No. Um, You're still pinned. Aren't you inspired? And then you did sing a song about me. Fifteen. Then you get your way out. <laughs> Thank God you sang that song. <laughs> and then I'm going to chug my all my actions to potions drinking. I'm not making an attack or anything. Okay, that's fine. We'll take 11 hit points back. Okay. Two potions down. Okay. Then we have Vorin. Uh, how far away is Ralph from Vorin? Um, I'm going to say he's about 40 feet. Just kind of toss him off to the side. Oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> and how close to the seal of death is uh? You'd have Ralph. to run past the seal of death. Sounds safe. Yeah. Every time you've gotten to melee range, it's been fine. It's yeah. been f- I, have, I I think I have melee plot armor. Yeah. It's that's you know that's it. It's all the saves that fuck me. Um, so if I do half my movement and then mage hand, can I? Or like, can I move ten bloop a, feet? Bloop a potion into him. Just <laughs> bloop. Grab Clint. Ralph and pull him in range of melee. I can't drag you. So, I can't. You weigh too heavy. You weigh too I much. I weigh ten pounds. Mm. Then we're fine. <laughs> You're like a bird. You're just a little emo Hollow elf. Bones. Hollow bones. <laughs> yeah. Hollow bones. That's why his voice is so raspy. Band name called it. Oh, hollow bones. <laughs> voice is so raspy. Both. God. So you're this doing mage hand to pot. To be like and. Bow. And okay. it goes, don't worry, bro. Thumbs up. And then catches it. And okay. does over. So wild magic. No, no wild magic. Boo. So you heal then. For, For a D8. one D8. Vorin, do you want to roll it? Of course I want to roll it. I just <clears throat> need a D8. Yes, five hit points. Totally going to be fine, dude. Negative 15. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. That's right. A little bit by little bit. And then it is uh, the Drongle's turn. Little by little, you laid as a fall. The Drongle apart. sees what Vorin does. Turns. How does it understand? It just sees you like move into the fray-ish kind of thing. <laughs> oh, shit. Player cast- 2 has entered the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> and it's going to do a bite attack at you. What's your AC? Uh, you mean to use your shield, bro. Uh, 13. Shield hits. Uh, I shield. cast shield as a reaction. Uh, AC work. is 18. It does not hit them. Oh, wait, wait. Wild, wild magic. magic. <gasps> oh, we did it, boys. <laughs> Yay, we did wild it. Wild magic. Wild magic. It's happened for the first time in like eight episodes. Let's see it's what gonna happens. It's going to be something terrible. I'm going to die. Okay. Uh, oh. Regain uh, my lowest level spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's <laughs> That's oh. something. Oh, bad. All right. That was underwhelming. I, I get, all that build up for nothing. I get shield back. That's what Bosch is. That's what Bosch is all about. <laughs> yep. That should be our subtitle, not a D&D podcast. Just all that build up for nothing. <laughs> Basic disappointment. So then it is Loris's turn, who is going to cast a firebolt at the Drungle and miss horribly, because that's how she do. 
Then it is a uh, super guard. Super guard runs over and attacks twice. Missing a hit. How's this dongle thing looking? 12. It's looking all right. I mean, mm. it's got a lot of wounds and some burn marks on mm. it or whatever, but it's still... Uh, all right. So it, did, it didn't take a whole lot of damage. I mean, there, you have a bunch of teeny tiny wounds and a big giant creature, so... Well, paper Do you think it's vulnerable to, to lightning? Don't know. Mm. So then it is Ralph. Do your first death roll. 14. One in the positive. Oh, yeah. So if he gets three positives, he just goes to zero or what? I just don't think you die. Mm. I, but I think you do go to zero. You just don't wake up. You're just stuck at zero. Until or somebody heals you stay you. at where you You're were at. You're in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a coma. <laughs> Just plot device. <laughs> You're stuck in your One mind fortress. One of our fortress. PCs is in a vegetative state. We have yeah. to wheel you around in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> he didn't have a will, so... It's what so. he wanted. <laughs> He'll die as he lived. As Useless. a vegetable? <laughs> Lee. <laughs> so then, it is uh, Nolan's turn. Who's still trying to climb up its back with the axes. One's a crit. Yeah, hey, Nolan. 24 damage from Nolan up its back. Thank God for these NPCs. Nolan doing all the work carrying you guys around. Thanks, Nolan. Don't so be then, mad uh, when you die. <laughs> so then it is... Uh, We're that uh, party Randall? that's following the heroes of the world around. <laughs> We're <laughs> not doing the, the same thing. <laughs> We're, the, We're the minor characters mm -hmm. in this story. Oh, shit. We're the background characters. <laughs> You're the comic relief. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Randall, you're I'm up. not funny. Um, I'll Funny like a clown? None of us are funny. <laughs> I'll do my uh, second wind ability. Okay. Which gives me a d10 plus four hit points. Okay. 10 HP. All right. And I will attack. Okay. A uh, 24 to hit. Yep. 11 damage. Okay. So you do a little bit of damage to it. Not the best strike I've ever struck. Every little bit helps. <clears throat> Vorin, keep on. So the seal push. goes after me. And is is breath weapon a action. minor action? Huh? Breath weapon's a minor action or a action action? I feel like it's an action action. Uh, I am going to hold my action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold. Okay. Uh, minor action. Can I feed him another potion? Sure. All right. Here it comes, big boy. A full six hit points. Slowly but surely. Negative nine. Oh yeah. Six Getting there. Nine. Um oh, wait, sixty nine? Full health. Yeah. So it's the Drongle's turn, who then is going to try and take a bite at Randall. <gasps> Randall, what's your AC? Eighteen. Hits. I reaction armor. Which makes my AC a twenty three. You have that too? Yeah. I'm an Eldritch Knight. Okay. Is it just for this turn? Yep. Okay. So then it does not hit. Yeah. Shield is what it's called. Shield. Okay. After it doesn't hit, I'm going to cast Shatter on its one flipper. Okay. Is it a bone? No, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't shatter. It only shatters inanimate objects, I thought. Like the uh, boulder? No, it's just uh, inorganic objects that, seems pretty that yeah, fail a con save have disadvantage. Organic doesn't have disadvantage. Okay, so it just, just takes just, damage. Just, yeah. So oh. just bits blow up. So, we, uh, you know, lore-wise, I could be focusing on the bone structure of its flipper. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Does it have to do anything? Yeah, con save. Mm, that's not good for you. What does it have to save? 13. Yep, nope, it saves. All right. Well, it still takes. <clears throat> so, seven and a half damage. Rounded up is eight. Eight damage. You give it a nasty cramp in one of its fins. <laughs> yeah, just suck a little it. cramp. Suckle it on <clears throat> the teat of despair, <laughs> you fucking seal. <laughs> um. <laughs> so hey, you will well the day. Teat of despair. Seal fuck. I <laughs> seal tits. Seal <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Smell like fish. <laughs> Alorus casts a firebolt and hits. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what does she even need to roll? 16 damage. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> How? 
This is our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> just a wipe Alors- party. Kill Lo- we, we kill Alores and Super Guard like and a, Nolan. No. The ending credits of a movie and, and Alores grew up to defeat the <laughs> evil of the land. <laughs> yeah. We became high mage. Absolutely no help from the we, party. No, we just stopped showing up. <laughs> <laughs> just plays. So Alores so uh, does this. Can, all right. And Loris does this. Next time on Botched. Uh, Botched, a story time podcast. <laughs> <laughs> One person. Just the DM. It's then... Uh, I'm so lonely. Super guard. Yeah, super guard. Super Bro-bro. guard goes and attacks twice. Hits twice. <laughs> 15 damage. Ralph. Death save. It's a 14. Oh, Two so in the positive. Good. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Now three deads in a row. <laughs> botch, botch, shit. <laughs> Double botch. No one's up. It's no just... one's still climbing up its back. End this already, Nolan. Uh, no one misses and hits, so he doesn't climb up too fast. But he's going to do Is this thing looking damage. a little rougher now? It's looking pretty rough. It's bleeding pretty profusely from multiple wounds. It's, it's still kind of pissed off looking, though. It's then Randall's turn. Randall will attack. Okay. Uh, so a 17 hits. Yep. And I'll use my great weapon to roll that. Six and six is 12, plus four is 16 damage. Nice. It's still still looking pretty rough? It's still looking pretty rough, yeah. Not like I'm about to die rough. No, not, not about to die rough. Um, I'll just drink my last healing potion then. Okay. Vorin. All right, I'll use a minor action to heal Ralph. Okay. For seven hit points. <coughs> okay. Negative two. And then I'm going to use my main action to drink my blackout potion. <laughs> Nice. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, guys. I got the. <laughs> so, uh, the. So you're prone, you say. Drongle is up. <laughs> I just look like I died. Just <laughs> crumble. The drongle's up. It's and like logging out an arc. Now Austin, or sorry, Vorin can't do his deck save because you're passed out. So everyone who's, and neither can Ralph. Yeah, we're not even near them though. Doesn't matter. Oh shit! That's what just he's gonna doing. Kill you. What he's doing oh. right now doesn't matter. Right. Uh, Randall, Loris, and Superguard have to do a deck save. Uh, 17. Yeah, you're fine. Yes. So you manage to jump over. So it starts to spin around wildly and does like a swipe and just smash into everything. Um, so it's touching the ground? Yeah. At every aspect of this. Just touching, just, just swiping the entire yeah. ground all around it. Yeah. Doesn't lose momentum. No. And uh, Ralph's body doesn't shock any of the It's going to get hit. Okay. Um, We're dead, baby. <laughs> you're not dead. Yeah. You're not dead. We're totally fucking dead. Uh, you take 19 damage. You take 19 damage. So Super when do good. I get the hit points of this blackout potion? You don't get hit points. You get your spells back. Well, all right. Super guard takes 19 damage. Does that put you below your total? Super guard's looking a little rough. I'm at negative nine. Up, N- four and passed out. Negative 21. <laughs> Ralph, close one step close. <laughs> just smashes Ralph's <laughs> lifeless body into the wall Jesus, some more. stop! <laughs> He's <laughs> already dead. <laughs> just let me die first. Let me die. <laughs> it's like when you kept healing me when I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> With your neck snapped in the wrong yeah. direction. Snap and heal. It's okay. You're fine. Um. So then Super Guard's up. But he has to, since he's pretty banged up, he has to spend his turn just trying to get back up on his feet because he's got axe hands. <laughs> so he's, he's in a little rough shape right now. So then we have Nolan, who's still trying to climb up this creature. Come on, Nolan. Creature. Fucking kill this thing. Misses twice. Uh, so he falls? That wasn't a crit fail. Yeah, he does fall. Because he's uh, using those hand uh, yeah. He does fall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he doesn't take a ton of damage. He just kind of tumbles down. <laughs> but he's still. But as he's falling down, you know, every time he hits, he's like, hook, hook, <laughs> and then lands and rolls, but gets up all triumphantly. Like, oh, that's what he I'm meant. fine. It's what he meant to do. It's totally what Dude, he meant to do. Your legs broken. I know. It's fine. It's, it's all, all part, a of, the part of the plan. <laughs> yes. Um. So then it is Randall. Still looking. Oh, sorry, Ralph. You need to do your death save. Yeah. You. Seven. Nope. One in the negative. All right. Two good, one bad. Randall. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. 16 damage. Nice. 
Still not dead. But looking nice. really, really rough? He's looking pretty rough, yeah. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. So when um, my corpse was swirled upon, mm-hmm. was it knocked far away from everybody? Yeah, it's up against the wall now. So, okay. Wait, so both of our prone, knocked out bodies are just in a heap together? Well, he, his is knocked up against the wall. Knocked, knocked up? up? Yeah. Hey, knocked congratulations. Up Thank you. Know. It's my That's first. Awesome. Vorin just moved closer in that direction but he didn't go the entire way i just kind of went yeah you just kind of get crumpled over so you're like you're still probably about 30 40 feet away so unless he charges the wall yeah i should be next coming attack (laughs) (laughs) he lets out a bellow and rolls a red a red arrow appears (laughs) marked target shit shit. (laughs) um so Vorin, you're up did you do your death save already Raid warning. Move away from the wall. <laughs> Ooh, that's a four. Oh, one in the negative. Are you KO'd? Uh-huh. That the sucks. drongle's up. You're not going to get your death money, though, because you weren't KO'd first. But you're not dead dead. No, if I die first. Mm. Yeah, not knock out. Yeah. I'm dead first. Well, you're in a dead heat, then. Yeah. It's going to bite at a Loris. It bites her to head death. off. death. Protagonist dead. It hits. Oh. And it's going oh, to deal... 15 damage. Loris, it, it bites her and just kind of tosses her. And she takes decent amount of damage, but she's, she gets back up relatively quick. She's kind of bleeding profusely. Um, then it's going to be Loris' turn. She's going to cast a firebolt. She says, yippee ki motherfucker. And miss horribly. Oh. Uh, it's a botch. Oh, please don't hit me. Doesn't hit anything. Oh, God, just I goes off to and, hit me. Just goes off into nothing. No, Vorin cannot die. <laughs> I just can never die. Very close to death all the time. Super guard tries to meander its way over to attack twice. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Misses twice. It's rough. Things He's in bad. rough, rough shape. Things are bad, you guys. Uh, n- Ralph. Not good, very bad. Maybe a full count. Hmm? Hmm? No, because if I roll a botch, that would then be you're dead. Three. And if you roll yeah. positive, you're good. I'm saying full count. Because if you get two and two, three and two, two and two. 17. Yeah! yeah! So your hit so, points just don't move. Yeah, he's you're stable just... unless he takes damage again. Yeah, unless you take unless damage. Unless it starts again. But if he takes damage again, he's just going to die, die. Yeah. So, so you're just it? fine. This one would have given um, He gains 1d4 hit points, or he gains one hit point in the 1d4 hours. Yeah. I'm negative 21. <laughs> So let's wait this out. All right. Yeah. Wait. So like in twenty four hey, hours. Hey, man, can we like? <laughs> no, just run around. Wait a day. Kite him for a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It worked for the world dragons. Um. So Ralph, or you went, and then it's Randall. Except for Randall, Loris, Super. and Nolan. Mm-hmm. Superguard. It's Superguard. It's just you but and I. Who's Who's really in? Twelve's not going to hit it. No. I think everyone but us are in range. Because we've been knocked out to the side. Yeah. You should, You're further than us. Um, thunder wave it. Vorin. I used my I used my thing again. There's two melee guys still in the vicinity. 16. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, one, one good, one bad. Okay, one and one. Then it's going to be uh, the Drongle, who's going to um, take another bite at Aloris and hit again. Oh no! We shouldn't have said she was the mortal. <laughs> <laughs> we did this. He bites, throws her to the side, and she doesn't get back up. Yay. She's just frumpled over the side. Stuff. She's not dead. She's just sleepy time. <laughs> you don't wait for the <laughs> you know, fight to be, the encounter to be over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I call all the KO people stuff. Aloris <laughs> fails her first death save, so. Jesus. That's that. So then it is... Uh, super guard runs over and attacks twice. You and me, bro. Misses again. You and me, row, bro. Row, bro misses twice again. <laughs> Just he's so fucked up. His targeting sensors are all off or something. <laughs> he doesn't quite know what's going on. Can't shake him. Ralph. Oh, that's he's, right. He's You're stable. Good. You're fine. You just can't do anything. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Um, then Nolan <laughs> goes into a nice little rabbit hole dream sequence. Yeah. You awaken in a field. <laughs> Nolan hits one, misses Side the quest. other. Actually, no, no one hits twice. What am I talking about? 13 damage. It's getting pretty wounded. Mm-hmm. It's getting pretty sluggish in its All movements, right. that type of thing. So, uh, right around to Randall. Attack. 
12's not going to hit. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so then it is uh, Morin. That's an eight. Two in the negative. One good, two bad. I'm out of health potions, by the way. <laughs> My. Oh, yeah, me too. I have three on me. Well, I don't want to provoke an attack of opportunity, so it's yeah. for you guys. No. no. <laughs> the prophecy so... has been written. Vorin will die this episode. No. Nay. Die. Nay. So the drongle's up, and it's going to bite at Superguard. And hit. Randall will be the lone survivor. <laughs> <laughs> you said you would get the final blow. Because mm-hmm. you'll be the only one left. <laughs> you and Nolan. Yeah. You so know. it bites Superguard, and it's just shredding its armor pretty bad. Oh, no. Both of its arms come off, and it tosses it. And it's just sitting there like, <laughs> like Robocop. Like uh, oh, no. at the end where they like tear it or they just rip in it apart. In the original. In the original. So it's just kind of sitting there like flailing. It's not dead. Can you see? But it's all messed up. Can you see the spine in the brain? No. Uh, but okay. it's got holes all in it. It's all perforated. It looks no. like a cheese grater. It's just all messed up. Listen, guys, if Vorin comes to and survives this and Robro doesn't, put me down. Suicide. suicide. <laughs> it's not enough. It's, suicide that's fight. all he loves in this world is the robot. The only robot he's ever... There's, a, there's more robots in the world, man. It's okay. No, there's not. Oh, I've seen some robots. <laughs> some robots. Robots? <laughs> robots. Who, Big robots. Whose voice was that on the wind? It's the ghost of Don't, 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 don't. Alorus does her next death save. Passes this time. Good job. Uh, Superguard does his first death save fails then we're back to ralph who doesn't do anything so no nolan. nolan goes oh no, nolan sorry nolan uh starts like swinging around like making a bunch of noise hey see your tits <laughs> and it's like Ugh! and he readies an attack and that's what he does for his turn so randall swing away you say swing away a 25 to hit hits and <clears throat> Is 12 damage. Nice. And then I will spend my action surge <laughs> to attack again. Okay. With a 22 to hit. Hits. And the same amount of damage. 12, you said? Yeah. It's so wounded. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> Vorin. For all the marbles. Come on, Vorin. Ready the trumpet. <laughs> Since this is a save... Yeah, I'm going to use okay. Tides of Chaos. Can you? I can. Okay. It's for attacks, abilities, ability checks, and saves. Okay. A botch? Let's take a break. And we're back. Hey! Dead. <laughs> Thorns out. <laughs> so Morin uh, dies. He dies no. in his bloody, Goodbye, blo- everyone. his bloody, bloody sleep. I loved you. Bye, everyone. I loved you. So then up like next you are my own. is the Drongle, who then bites at, obviously bites at uh, Nolan. Nolan, because he insulted him. Crit. Rolls oh, a crit. Geez. Oh, jeez. Oh, All right. I got this. It's 20, 40 damage. So he picks up Nolan, and he starts just chomping on Nolan, and Nolan's like blood shooting out of his mouth. If I can see it. Tits. <laughs> and he starts just wailing away with his axes in no. the face of this seal. No. And like just, no. he manages to clip him right in the eyes and it's Blinds the seal. <laughs> just throwing up blood and then the seal just face plants directly into the dirt. No. And smashes what's left of Nolan as you hear him go, Fuck you, Drongo. <laughs> And the seal's and dead. I know. I immediately <laughs> attack the seal at the same time, dead. making it look like I killed it. <laughs> it's already Doing dead. a performance. I'll be doing a performance. <laughs> against the whole crowd. Against the guy the who takes crowd. the coin. The, the, the guy who calls the bets. 
Couldn't you just take his call ticket <coughs> and cash his ticket in? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows. What was your performance? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not your, nine. What was your performance? <laughs> 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 he, he totally knew. He was like, the fuck was that? And most of the crowd's like, the fuck? But everyone's like a hushed silence and like, they, they, some of them cheer. Some of them are kind of like crying. They don't really know what to make of it. As Nolan bites the dust as well. I, uh, Dies a heroic death. I breath the weapon the, the corpse of the dongle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I give... Stirs it back to... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and then one. I uh, go over to uh, Ralph and I feed him his three health potions that he has left. Okay. I collect all the betting tickets from all the <laughs> corpses. The Loris isn't dead. Oh, I don't know that. She's KO'd. And so is Robro. They're I don't think I can out. heal him. Uh, we'll say you healed for um, 18. Negative two. I search <laughs> Loris for health potions. and the, like She has like three on her. I give one to... My buddy Ralph, who inspired me. Don't roll a one. Five. All right. <gasps> you wake up. Um, <gasps> and then I give the uh, the other ones to Aloris herself, and uh, give her. She wakes up. Mouth to mouth. She immediately pushes <laughs> you off. <laughs> no, I'm so soft. She spits it's in your so face. Soft. Come here. I saved your life. She, you owe me. She spits in your face. <laughs> Stay away from me. Well, I brought you milk. Um, <laughs> Keep those tiny lizard hands off of me. <laughs> I try. Get your goddamn tiny lizard hands off of me. Oh my God, I'm so glad that's um, canon now. <laughs> and <laughs> I, uh, oh my God. I then use shocking grasp on Robro because lightning sh- sure. charges them. We'll call that. What's the damage on that normally? A D8. Okay, so just one D8. Yep. Roll your thing, the bobber. Two. So you shock Johnny number five, <laughs> and um, he just kind of zaps a little bit, and he's still twitching, but he's not like, Don't you give up on me! <laughs> <laughs> you keep shocking him, isn't it a cantrip? Yeah. So you just keep shocking Seven, him. Seven. He's still. Two. Still. Three. All right, he finally like <laughs> makes like a, an initializing noise, but he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I gather up his parts. Okay. And just I just toss uh, him on a pile. I, I like C3PO him at like Wookiee backpack. That's a big, heavy Wookiee backpack. So mainly just his head and his arms? His head's still attached to the body. Oh, okay. Because if his head wasn't, he'd be dead. Because hmm. it's a brain uh, in a spine. I guess he I'd just make, has holes all in him. Make a little drag drag thing then. Okay. Alright. I rush over to Vorn. Okay. And gather his him he's dead yeah i know okay but no tearful embrace or anything yeah no i'm gonna cradle him oh, okay then i'm sad i'm gonna wrap him up in the papoose okay and for there a... he will stay <laughs> and then just digs a little hole yeah in the dirt and just puts i'm him just gonna <laughs> no no, no cut a i will cut a hole in the dongle and shove him in there okay in in they have healing powers. <laughs> I thought it, it smelled bad on the outside. Come out to the coast. They smell bad on the outside. <laughs> How do you laugh? <laughs> hmm. is... I'm going to collect my winnings. Yeah, we're having it. Come on. Okay, your winnings. Okay. And also basking in the roar of the victorious crowd. Oh, yeah. They're throwing, like, flowers and, like... Um... Money and, and just all uh, kinds of stuff. Just throwing looting the crap food. out of that guy's corpse. My dragonborn, dragonborn buddy, okay. my super best friend. He has two uh two one d eight axes mm. that can absorb your breath weapon. Hmm. So mm. you can add um, oops. it can add a d six of that type of damage mm-hmm. to your weapon attacks for the rest of that encounter. Okay, once a day. Um, gonna have to uh, keep those. Yeah. Okay. So those are two one-handers. Um, his armor's all fucked, so that's not even a question. Um, gold-wise, he put everything he had into the bet. That's so. why I have his ticket. Right. 
Okay. No ticket. No <laughs> ticket. Um, that's all he had on him. That's, cool. That's it. Everything else is pretty messed up since he's... You guys just going to leave him in the jaws of the beast? He would have wanted. wanted. He yeah. would have wanted. Okay. That's fine. So I pants him. <laughs> There's no pants. There's no bottom half. Yeah. It's gone. Oh. So then... Uh, I really wanted to just have a stick. That's fair. Stick out of it. Searching whatever. for dicks, whatever. So, yeah, filleting them. So the gate opens in the back, and yeah. the, the fight master comes out, and he's just putting his hands up, and everyone's screaming and cheering. And then he comes over to you guys, and he raises your hands up. And Ow. everyone's like, oh my god! And then the uh, the betting guy's outside, so if you want to just go out there and start talking to him, or just rein in more like praise, that's totally cool, too. Or whatever. I definitely want to talk to the betting guy. Okay. Betting guy, he's just like, hell of a fight. Would have never seen it coming. Neither did I for half of it. There you go. I believe we put down like 200 on 1,000 to 1. Well, let's see here. For, uh, for you, it was... Uh, I put down 100 on 1,000 to 1. You put 100, so that gets you what? 10,000 10, gold. 10, gold pieces? Yes. All right, so you get 10,000 gold pieces. And then, of course, uh, the other Dragonborn's ticket. Oh, that's no, that's not how that works, they say. That money's donated. The proceeds are donated and obviously I had the killing blow. No, you didn't. I watched it. You hit it way after it was dead. No, you, I saw don't be it. racist. You can't tell I one dragon bore from another. Do anything. Yes, I can. Well, one's in its mouth, and one's not. I was in the mouth. No, you weren't. It's still there. He's we looking. He points places. at it. <laughs> He's like, no. I even have the ticket. Yeah, you took it out of his pocket. Fine. So he says, no, you don't get his money. Um, I Warren's, need a little cart. Of course. Voren's winning since he did die first. That would go to... So he got... he was Those were 100 to 1 odds. And he bet 8. 800 gold. So 800 gold. It's split between... Uh, oh, shit. No, it goes to the charity as well. No, I told it it would... Because I can't take it. I said it goes to... Goes oh. to... And Robra. I see, I see. So he splits that up. And then the you bet 30 for the 1,000 to 1. So that's 3,000 gold. And that can be also given to the party. Yeah, so, so 3,000 split up yeah, between you guys. Yeah. There, there you go, boys. And then Loris gets, uh, she bet 50, and then 10 on each of you to die. Bitch. So she gets a fair amount of money, too. So she pockets her winnings, and she's mm-hmm. pretty happy with how that turned out. So yeah. Now I go bask in the so winnings. Your winnings. Oh, Ralph, what did you bet? 230. Oh, that's right, that's right, 230. So yeah. You bet two thirty, so that's twenty three. Is that a thousand? It's a thousand to one. Yeah. So two hundred thirty thousand. Twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. I'm a math. Oh no, major. shit! Two hundred thirty thousand. No. You're right. No, I'm oh. right. It's so you get two hundred thirty thousand gold pieces. Oh, I get a hundred thousand gold. So pieces. you get a hundred thousand yeah. gold pieces. I need like a cart. <laughs> I'm gonna need a cart and a bank. <laughs> Dead blood out fighting seal. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, <laughs> he gives you a... Uh, Maybe gives me like a bag with a lot of it, and then... He gives you a voucher. Bank, a voucher at yeah. the bank. He gives you yeah. a voucher at the bank. Okay. It's worth... So, we basically, you can go there, and you have an account that's worth this much money. That's crazy good. Yeah. Same for you, Ralph. Of course, everybody else bet on the my de- seal. My debit card. I have a debit card. Just charge it. Right. Yeah. And Loris gets one, too, because she got 50000 I mean, we're really never going to have to pay for anything again. No. But You're pretty good, money-wise, because you killed the I'm legendary drongle. I'm going to put this into a vault somewhere and, I mean, dive into it. <laughs> That'll kill you. Like a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> like the a mallet. Physics of that. So, um, <laughs> so that's over and done with. So, tonight is the night of the, uh, when you're supposed to meet with Rexaga for that feast. I want to... So, you guys can do whatever you want until then. Robro's kind of fucked up. Yeah, I want to. Who's the most legendary uh, artificer blacksmith in the in the t- city? Probably the one that Vorn went to. The guy who's like, I don't even know. You just tell me where to swing the hammer. <laughs> Cause that it's guy, because it's a robot. They don't exist. Okay, but he would know how to use magical items and stuff. Maybe. Is there a legendary enchanter as well? Yeah. I would like to get those two guys together. Okay. With my bank account. Okay, so you go and meet with each one of them, and I and um, they know you immediately, and they're like, "Oh my, you killed the drongle! Holy shit!" I'm like, check out my 
metal chest cyborgness. Okay. Can we make this better? In what way? More armory. So you want to be covered in more metal? Yeah, but not, I mean, like, armor and then maybe reinforce this. And also, these two axes yeah. that <laughs> hold lightning. Yeah. Can we take the two heads and put them on a bigger axe to make a big axe? Like a double-handed axe? Yeah, like a two-handed axe. Not two-sided. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, they both talk it over. They said, well, we don't know if we can do anything to your additions, so to speak. Hmm. But they can build you a suit of armor. Let's do that. Okay. I would like a suit of armor of magical properties of some kind. Okay. And I want a big magical weapon. Okay. And that's my only... That's all I want. So they ask for your current suit. What, what type of armor are you wearing right now? I have like a breastplate. Oh, a breastplate. Okay. What, what kind of armor can you wear? I'm a fighter. All of it. All of it? Okay. All right. So they say... We can have it ready for you by... When do you need it by? I don't know. I'm going to this feast tonight. There'll probably be celebration for some days. I don't know. Okay. Uh, ASAP, really. Three days. Sounds great. Okay. Um, they say we need half now and then half. So how much do you think it's going to be? It's probably going to be about 10,000 gold. Deal. Okay. So 5,000 gold now. Boom. Five later. Done. Okay. So less 5,000. <laughs> sure. So they, they got that. And then did you want to talk to them about Robro? Oh, yeah. Can we fix this guy? And the, <laughs> They're like, the fuck is that? Oh, well, the guy goes, I just fixed that. <laughs> we, what the fuck? I just put his arm on. The seal. The seal, man. <sighs> Jesus. The dongle. He's like, well, I can hit it with a hammer. And then the, the magic user's like, we can, we'll work, some, we'll figure something out. Um, do you have any sorts of drawings or diagrams or anything at all i will use <laughs> my, my performance ability to draw and a picture of how like, i want it to look i seem to remember there being this small guy with yeah, he, diagrams he didn't so I, as i hear this i i run back to where i buried for it <laughs> in the seal lover <laughs> These, they, stink, they stink we, like seal tits. <laughs> oh, I know we put them, but we didn't put them in there this deep. Because oh, we're, we're they migrated. In the meantime, I'm tr- I'm trying to draw a super cool new chassis for the way I would like it designed. <laughs> okay, with a performance check, I guess. For Robro, well, like to to I'm I'm designing a, like a cool new like spiky, sleek for him or Terminator you? robot. Okay. For, for Robro. Okay. You're just making sketches. I'm just drawing shit. Okay. But I drew a 17 for performance, so. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, That's pretty good. D- d- that 18. looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> An 18 to kind of. You find it. All right. You find the gooey, blood covered, <laughs> like, frail, boasted body of. Well, well, he's in the papoose still. He's still, yeah. He's been, like, he's been preserved just, in the fat. Sure. Sh- it's only been a few minutes. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. In, so, in the fat of the seal. <laughs> shake I, him off. I, shake I, would, I would be happy there. You shake yes. him like a baby. I, I got it. <laughs> and then hopefully the, the book? Te- book. technomancer notes on Robro. Yeah, they're all gooey and just... Well, I'll shake him out. Fall out. I mean, they're not on Robro. They're on, like, metal appendages and things like that. Cool. From, yep, great. Yeah. And I run back with them. Okay. And, and the artificer looks at them and it's like, well... This doesn't look like the exact same, but oh, it's something to on. it's something to work with, yeah. I guess. And I, I tell them that they can have the two axes as collateral for the robot well, no, chassis. Gonna, we're gonna do that. I mean, he's got weapons in there. It looks like it's a thing. We might improve on him a bit or something, maybe. Okay. But it's gonna cost you fifty thousand probably to we'll, fix we'll, this. We'll pull that as a group. We like him. I mean, yeah. We will. You've already invested a lot in Robro. Well, that's true, but I mean, it's kind of Loris's problem. Cause yeah, is Loris here? Not with you guys. And she'll pay for it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she'll pay for it. She's got it. She's good for it. She's good for it. Right? She. She's, she's not here. Not they said, with, well, we need at least half now. You got 12.5 well, on Give me a second. You? I'm going to text her. Do you have 12.5 on you? Because I, I can do 12.5. Sure. Okay. Twelve five. Twelve five. 
twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Twelve thousand five thousand five hundred. So no, no. <laughs> All right. So you pay to have. I just fell out of the trace commas. <laughs> <laughs> no more trace commas. I only have two commas. <laughs> so that's the blacksmith, Ralph. Are you doing anything at the blacksmith? Was... Can you make a cool accordion for me or something? I, I kind of want a weapon. So what you... I'm just not singing songs and then going KO. What kind of weapon you want? Ranged, melee? What are you, what are you looking for? You seem like a ranged kind of guy. Uh, yeah, a, a, ra- a range would be good. They go, okay, well, we'll come up with something for you. Um, Make it a... Uh, throne or... 5,000 gold. I feel like you're just raking us over the coals because you know we just... Made what? a lot of money. No. That's a good price for a magical weapon of great import. I yeah. say, with a 24. They both go, 4,500. You well, can do it 10% again. 10% off, dude. That's pretty good. Again? Okay. Yeah. Crit 20. 3,500. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. Goddamn cheapskate. Oh, okay. Okay. Tom, wait, motherfucker. Um, so that all right, so that's everybody there. What are you guys doing now? Like, are you guys going to heal up first? Yeah, let's go, up? let's go oh, heal yes, up please. and uh, get some fancy clothes because this is a royal party, of course. Yep, yep. Yeah. Nothing touches these scales but pure silk. Oh god, is what I say <laughs> nope. as I walk into you. pure fleshy, <laughs> pure pink fleshiness oh. touches these. silk leather, silk leather. Um, yeah, to the to the most best Elvis seamstress okay. store. So, um, you ask for some directions and somebody leads you along the way. I mean, there's a huge crowd following you through the streets. Just like throwing confetti and shit. It's just like, it's craziness. Uh, your nun is just like, woo! Woo! <laughs> super on board. She's super proud. Hi. She's just throwing milk at you. Just. <laughs> you know I can't drink that. <laughs> it pleases me. Um, so the, the procession's just going through the streets. And you get to the, the only Elvish. Uh, I invite her to take a milk bath with me. Sure. Before or after the seamstress? After the seamstress. Okay. <laughs> During. During. That's <laughs> while they're fitting you. <laughs> fitting you in bring, the milk bath. Someone bring a brass tub. <laughs> <laughs> so they, so you get to the, the elvish seamstress, and she's also heard of what you're doing. And they're like, she's so amazed that you guys would want to come into her store. What, Like, what do you guys want? Make me look pretty for the king. So she gets, <laughs> she makes you these silk, very tiny gloves for <laughs> Normally, <laughs> normally these are for children, but <laughs> oh, God. so uh, so she makes you a silk suit of sorts. Do you want anything fancy with it? That's good. Okay, so you should make sort of you, What color would you like? Whatever looks good with blue. I don't know what my complimentary color is. You should get a cape. Orange and is complimentary cape. to blue. Yeah, so it would make you stand out. I'll have a, a a black back orange inside cape with an orange headband. Okay, like sash headband thing. Okay, what color's the suit? Um, all black, everything. Okay, so that's she makes you with, that suit with dark blue coattails. Okay, so she makes you that. Cool, a thousand done. Boom, I'm fancy. Okay. Do you want anything for your nun? Yeah, whatever the fuck she wants. Okay. A milk bathing suit. I don't know. <laughs> what do rich people buy? <laughs> so she gets a dress made as well. This one is uh, like a long flowing uh, silk dress. Um, little, soft but it's, on it's, soft. It's, it's milk white. <laughs> it's milk white. <laughs> and looks like it's almost flowing as if it were a liquid of type. Yeah. That costs you another thousand. <laughs> so Ralph, do anything from the seamstress? Yeah, I'll, uh, I want a suit. Okay, what kind of suit you want? A uh, real dingy one. 
A dingy yeah, suit. I mean, just your corduroy like denim, or like denim suit. <laughs> Not a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just a uh, you know a gray, gray shirt, gray pants, gray hat. Okay. She's like uh, two hundred gold. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so she gets you that. Any type of boots? Anything? Hat? Snakeskin boots, duh. Yeah, one hat. Okay. <laughs> boots? No boots. No boots. Shoes? Any type of shoes? No shoes. No shoes. Okay. No shoes, no service. So. But socks. I want socks. Oh, you want socks? Yeah. Okay. So she gets you socks. So Alorus then comes in. And also orders a dress gray mate. suit, dingy a gray suit, suit. <laughs> dingy suit. She actually wants a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> she wants to be different. Um, she gets a long flowing red dress. It's got a lot of sparkles in it. Almost looks a little ethereal, a little bit very magical looking. Almost flamey. That costs her about uh, two grand. So, so yeah. So you guys just gonna head straight from here to the party, or are you gonna go? Try and heal up. Just chug as many pots go, as possible. Go heal up and yeah, yeah, then go to the party. Okay. So you and go visit my bank. Okay. So I'm going to say the amount of. <laughs> I didn't make these charges. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to report fraud. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say the amount of potions it's going to take you uh, to get back to full health. It's probably... I'm only 10 hit points down. Okay. So for you, it's only going to cost you like 20 gold. 30 gold. Sounds great. For you, Should I Ralph... write that down or. <laughs> yes. I'm negative fourteen thousand five hundred and thirty-two. <laughs> there we go. Ralph, what's your hit points? How many do you need? I need twenty-three. You need twenty-three. Okay, so it's we're gonna like say it's gonna pots. take you like five pots. Sure. Just to average it out, I guess. Um, fifty gold. Sure. Okay. Aloris also gets a ton of pots. I'm gonna actually get extra pots okay how many would you like five extra five extra yeah. all right so it's another what did i say 50 yeah yeah Alorus has to get like eight pots so she pays her dues yeah but i guess we'll get five extra too. okay so 50 50 yep. yeah all right so you guys are all potted up and everything um and you're gonna head your way to the party it's starting to get a little dark yeah i need like a uh a good uh ornamental are you walk into this party dagger? by the way yeah. Totally. You're going to walk to the party? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Just checking. So you want an ornate... No, 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 no. We're taking a fucking carriage. I'm going to hire, hire a carriage service. Carriage of turtles. <laughs> do you have, do you have a little seal-drawn carriage? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the no, seals all 20, 22 minute <laughs> donkeys, <dramas>. please. <laughs> Feral cats. So many cats. <laughs> Spraying piss everywhere. But you put guards up on the front of your carriage so you guys don't get hit. Just the passers. <laughs> yes. Everyone so but missed. <laughs> Mr. Feral it's a cat cloud. Spray. Just a mist cloud. They will know us by our trail of cat piss. <laughs> so the carriage is going to cost you about 200 gold. Yeah, I'm not buying it. I just want to. I know. Yeah. That's what it said, Good. 200 gold. Mm-hmm. And you wanted a, a jeweled dagger? I want I want a knife. A knife. A, 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 good, a, a good knife. Okay. Not just one that I can fit in my... Pantaloons? Yeah. Okay. Um, five gold pieces. Sweet. Because I'm not going to this party unarmed. That's fine. Well, you guys could still take your stuff with you if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, no, then I'll just wear my double flail on, the, <laughs> on my back. <laughs> yeah, you could. Duh. It's totally fine. So, yeah, so you guys make your way through the streets. It's getting kind of dark now. Your carriage is taking you. And you're starting to hear trumpets and things like that in the background as the uh, party is about to begin. Lots of people are showing up at the, the castle for this giant feast. And uh, the guards are there. They immediately know who you guys are because of, you know, the drongle and everything. So they, they usher you in, and they're like, oh, my God, it's those guys. They're so awesome. Also, the king invited us. No big deal. Yeah, no big deal. So they, they usher you in, and when you go in to the main entrance, it's now been turned into a giant, like, feasting room. There are hundreds of, um, I guess you call them kegs, but... The barrels of ale mm. and wine and mead and booze and all kinds of stuff just all over the place. Like the uh, like the BRD brewing room with the big casks. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 
So then um, the table the stretch. Grim Guzzler. Yeah, the Grim yeah. Guzzler. So the table stretch the entire length of the room, and they go from one side to the other, and they are packed with people, and it's hopping. There's music playing in the background. Um, the tables are completely topped with food, so all types of food. Yeah. And robots mm-hmm. aren't going to attack, I'm sure. Sure. They'll be fine. Yeah, so meats and cheeses and fruits and all kinds of stuff, so it's all kinds of things. Let's go mingle. Yeah, so that's fine. So you guys go in, and you basically have free reign. The king, <laughs> the king, who's sitting all the way back on his throne or whatever with a giant, like, mini keg of booze, and then, like, a bunch of chicks around him. He immediately raises his um, little chalice, ch- little Double. mini barrel towards you guys and goes, The Drongo Slayers! And everyone's like, Wee! Shout back and go, <laughs> <laughs> We came, we saw, we kicked roar. its ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you guys can do whatever you want at this point. I'm going to eat a lot of not cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you sit down with your lady and just start eating food? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ralph, what are you up to? My lady priest friend. She starts hitting the sauce pretty hard. Good. <laughs> but then seductively, seductively will like drink some milk. And just misses a little bit, so it just like runs down her like neck <laughs> through her cleavage, so you're just like getting all flustered with your tiny little hands to rub it. <laughs> I'm kinda watching the room. Um Okay. With a twenty three. Okay. Um so you just are seeing all the party goers and things like that. You're noticing the band, which you're a little like, eh, I could probably do a little I, I could do a little better than that. I mean there's no accordion players in there, but well, it's whatever. Um there's lots of guards around the outside, so it looks like it's pretty well guarded. Um, you don't really see anything else other than the normal party stuff. Yeah. So. Nothing really out of the ordinary? Nope. Or... Nothing out of the ordinary right now. What's that band look like? Robots. <laughs> <laughs> Robots with mustaches. <laughs> and sombreros. <laughs> don't mind <laughs> us. <laughs> no, but they're playing... Uh, French music. Yeah. <laughs> it's a string quartet. Yeah. <laughs> they're called They're called human tet. Human <laughs> tet. <laughs> We're made of strings. Um It's uh three dwarves and two humans, pretty grisly looking humans, uh and one female elf who's singing in the background. Should we challenge them to a rock off? And uh, one's playing like a drum, and then the other ones are playing various types of horn or string instruments. Mostly Enya. Mostly Enya. It's big. I've, it's big I've in heard, this world. I've heard about this band. <laughs> so, who's on the string instrument? Uh, one of the dwarfs. I'm just going to take it. Just take and it? And push him down. <laughs> Grapple just, check? Well, I or mean, dex? Something? Sure. What'd you roll? A 20. He, okay, he fell right over. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you how to play He's so this awkward. Son. It's just... Uh, <laughs> and I'm still pushing his just, head down. With your foot. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Using his face as a wall pedal. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? performance yeah 19 all right so you just start so, playing the kick-ass jam and the and the what is dwarfs what? even tapping along a little bit <laughs> yeah so um once that uh, song finishes okay that they did i turn around to the band and tell them that um this, this is a blues riff and b watch for the changes and try to keep up okay and then i start playing the guitar <laughs> Okay. Johnny B. Good style. Oh, uh, okay. I see. On the mandolin. On the mandolin. On the mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, 19 again. Okay. For, um, for the leg. Yeah, yeah. The doing the, I'm, just... I'm duck walking. Okay, you're duck walking. Across the stage. And everyone's just like jamming to it, like, yeah. Right, I was like, I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's into it. Everyone's super into it. 19 again. Okay. But this time I get too aggressive on the guitar. Okay. Kind of like... You smash it? Not yet, but it's okay. just like... But your kids will love it. So you go into a massive solo. Massive the... solo, and I'm like, 
so everyone else pushing stops. everybody else off the, the stage. Oh, you just keep like kicking them with the yeah, duck kicks. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> kicking them in the face. So yeah, you're the only person playing after a while. And then I rolled a two. <laughs> For what? Well, eight. Okay. So I'm going to say you you play, so you get so into your solo that you don't even notice that there's other people not there anymore because you face kick them with your duck walk. And now everyone is dead silent in the room as they stare at you and they're like, the hell is this asshole doing? Because you don't realize that you've been solo playing this one little like scrum for about 15 minutes. It's just going and going and going. It's all about the tubes, man. It's all about the tubes. A uh, dex check? Sixteen. Okay. Oh no, you don't pass it. Uh, you feel like this weird thud to the back of your head as the dwarf you kicked out then takes another like mandolin, just smashes you in the back of the head with it. <laughs> and I stiffen up like a board and, and just, just face plant. <laughs> and then he just tosses the remains on you and then picks oh, up duh. what you had in your hand and they all go back to playing their music. <laughs> and then everyone just goes back to normal Work as you it. just face planted. It's all right. I'm happy with it. And then a mysterious somebody starts to eyeball you from across the crowd and make their way over. But before they can get to you, we're going to call it there. So thanks, everybody, for listening. Tune in next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Botch Podcast. You can head over to patreon.com slash Botch Podcast to help donate to the show, grow a little bit. I want to say thank you to Diamond Club's Big Jim, uh, Jizzmate. If you want your name read out on the show, you can head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Or just die in a fire. And as always, while you're stroking your seal, you can scream, BOTCH! And we'll hear you. In the midst of the arts. Arr, arr, arr. (laughs) See you next week, man. See you.